The electricity wholesale market is a market where all the electricity generators sell the electricity that they have generated to the electricity suppliers that we consumers buy our electricity from. Electricity is a commodity. A kilowatt hour of electricity bought from one generator is exactly the same as a kilowatt hour from another generator. However, unlike other commodities, it is not normally possible to store electricity and then use it later. So the UK's wholesale electricity market has been set up so that every 30 minutes the suppliers inform the generators of the amount of electricity that they will require. The generators then bid to supply that electricity. Because electricity is a commodity, the suppliers will buy from the generators that bid the lowest price. Renewables like wind and solar are very cheap to run on a day-to-day -day basis. The sunlight or wind are totally free, as well as being environmentally friendly. So the cost of supplying a kilowatt hour of electricity is very low. Fossil fuels like gas and oil can also be used to generate electricity, but you need to buy the gas or the oil in order to create that kilowatt hour of electricity. So the kilowatt hour is a lot more expensive than the same kilowatt hour of electricity from wind or solar. When I first started looking at the electricity wholesale market, I could not understand why the wholesale price of electricity in each 30 minute period is the price of the most expensive electricity supplied during that period. Around 40% of the UK's electricity is still generated by gas power stations. This means that in most 30 minute slots, especially during the working day, some of the UK's electricity will be generated by a gas power station. This means that most of the time the wholesale price paid for electricity is based on the cost of gas electricity generation. Obviously anybody following the news will be aware that the wholesale cost of gas has increased enormously in the last few months. This means that the wholesale price of electricity has also increased enormously, which has in turn increased the price that us consumers pay for electricity. The other observation is that renewable electricity generators are selling electricity at a price defined by the cost of gas, so they are making a very big profit because their costs are much lower. The obvious question is why is the wholesale price of electricity set by the most expensive electricity generated? Even if 99% of the electricity generated in that 30 minute time slot is generated by cheaper methods. It just seems bizarre until you think about the way a totally free market works. If you consider a free market that is trading a widget that is exactly the same widget from all the suppliers I, there's no differentiation at all between the widgets from different suppliers. If there are two suppliers of this widget, and one of them has invested in automated manufacturer so that it only costs, let's say, £2 to manufacture each widget, the other supplier prefers to make them by hand, so has very high labour cost, and each widget costs £10. The automated manufacturer could decide to undercut the other supplier and sell the widget for £5 and make a profit of £3 per widget. But why would they do that? If they charge £10, then they know that the other supplier cannot sell it any cheaper because they will be making a loss, and they will also make a massive profit of £8 per widget. In other words, the free market price for the widget is the cost of the widget for the most expensive supplier. If you now consider the electricity market and a 30 minute window where some of the electricity is supplied by wind and a very small amount by gas, the wholesale price of electricity in that 30 minute window is therefore the price of the electricity generated by gas. So the electricity market has been set up to replicate a totally free market. However, it's now very clear that it is no longer appropriate for the wholesale electricity market to be a totally free market because this no longer gives the consumer the best value electricity. My understanding is that the government is looking at the electricity wholesale market 
and considering new rules and regulations, that will mean it's no longer a free market. I assume that the new regulations will focus on pricing electricity based on the actual cost of the electricity generated during each 30 minute window, so that consumers can get cheaper electricity 